Hey everyone and welcome to today's replay and following on from the 40 TP video a few days ago we're back on Ride Park and in that video I, I rather sarcastically said that the 40 TP was the best tier 6 and today we're going to look at actually the best tier 6 the T34 A5M which uh, all intents and purposes is the standard T3485 but just better in quite a few important categories so for example armor the T3485 has 45 millimeters of frontal hull armor and for some reason this thing has 75 millimeters of hull armor and it's quite well angled as well which means against tier fives and tier fours when it's top tier this tank is so is stupidly strong, has stupidly strong armor for a tier six medium tank, unlike the 40 TP, which has terrible armor, needless to say. And the gun on it as well is again, it's the T3485 gun, which is already quite a decent gun, but it gets a better rate of fire, better aim time. It's, it's just ludicrous, and and. Uh, as you can see, we've already picked up 500 damage and a kill. We're getting trolled a little bit by the accuracy, but we're just taking the early grounds. We managed to get a sneaky shot into the uh, into the uh, real chair tank. So it's not only is this probably the strongest tier six in the game. It just shows where the game is right now three four years ago this tank simply would not have existed because the way wargaming fought back then was that the way premiums would work was that they would be strong they would be weaker tier for tier compared to their peers but in return you got credits and extra crew training for them but let's be honest this way of thinking ended a good couple of years ago now and this tank shows just shows how much wargaming has changed mentally as to how they make money and how they sell premium tanks in the game so for example this thing went in a good couple of years ago but then they done a marathon for it and just before the marathon they buffed it up to this state and as a result and as a result uh, every single new player gets a rental on these things up to a certain point in their world of tanks career it just means that the matchmaker is full of these tanks and when you're playing and I can tell you for sure when you're playing tanks like the 40 TP and you're meeting tanks like this so often you do you, you are reminded as to what a proper tank is like like the Let's be honest, the standard T-34 A5 is one of the stronger tier 6 medium tanks, but this thing is just so much better <laughs> and it makes credits as well, so yeah, and we're just pumping shots left, right and centre into that M4 AMD, and as you, we've picked up 70, 1700 damage, we've still got three quarters of our hit points left on three kills we're we're looking good boys we're looking good and hopefully whenever i get this map i continue getting ace tankers as in i got in the one in the 40 tp so so yeah this tank is given to every single new player and they can as a rental and it's not a good way of showing off the game, is it? Just giving an overpowered premium on um, rental. It's not war game. It's not a very good way of doing business. It just shows. It's just a sign of things to come, I suppose. I, I'm just thinking of what tier six mediums could hold a candle to, to this thing. And to, for me, the Cromwell Berlin and the standard Cromwell, they are both incredibly strong tanks. The easy A when it comes to DPM, but the penetrate but the penetration on the easy A it gets 
it gets uh, 26 millimeter. No, excuse my math. 16 less millimeters of penetration, and it gets and it gets less alpha as well. Like I don't know the shirt, the Easy Eight Sherman, or the 76 millimeter guns that the Shermans get as a whole are quite out of meta at the moment, and we've just secured our top gun, and we're going to quite outplay this SU-100. He could not get his gun rounds. I was hiding, using the pillar to hide his gun for a effective shot. And this game's com this game is one. It's, it is one. It's just a question of how my team are going to deal with this AMD. And hopefully I don't take a shot from this SU-100, but I think he's using the 100mm gun. I'm pretty sure he is. What guns he using? No, he's using the 122, so I don't want to take a shot. The artillery puts a shot in, and I finish him off for the seventh kill of the game. It, we are running a rampage on Ride Park today. So, tell me what you think. Is this thing overpowered? Because I bloody well think it is. <laughs> I think this thing is, is, is the best tier 6. It's just kind of sad it's a premium tank. A certain pay to win aspects of this game these days and I'm just looking for the shot on this AMD I don't know I don't know what he's what kind of driving he's doing he knows it's coming he knows that once I get he can't really do anything unless he's firing APCR to me frontally he could perhaps penetrate me there and yeah we're not gonna put, pick up that sneaky kill here we go Wait to confirm the kill so he doesn't run off and we don't start a wild goose chase. So that's the T-34 A5M. And that was a very strong game on Wide Park. And let's take a look at the post-game stats. So here we are. Of course we pick up the Ace Tanker, the Radley Rolters medal, High Calibre and the Top Gun. We managed to do more than double the damage than anyone else in the entire game and this is what the t 4 A5M is capable of uh, we absolutely dominated this enemy team none of no enemy tank gave us any problems whatsoever so that's the replay for today let me know what you think of the t 4 A5M and I'll see you on the next one